So here we have an overview of how to write P1 for the sociological coursework. So the main thing here, we've got the learning name. The learning name A highlights that to un we need to try and understand sociological concepts and perspectives uh, and how they're applied to the study of health and social care. Now, that notion of perspectives, um, that's the whole project. The individual elements of P1 says perspectives, but it does what we, we you know, it's, it's meant to be concepts. Now, as part of this, when we come to P1, we're going to write about how sociological concepts are applied to our understanding of health and social care. So what we're going to be doing in this first element of the coursework is taking what is sociology, what is health and social care, how do the two come together? We're also going to try and link in our chosen setting. Uh, and effectively, we're going to introduce the coursework. So we're going to put the context, the introduction, what we're doing, what we're saying. So it is an introduction to the coursework topic. Now, as you can see on the screen, there is only a pass criteria. There is no merit, there's no distinction. It's literally just the pass. But as I've said in previous videos, there is a lot to cover for the pass. So you need to make sure you've covered all of it to make sure you tick in that pass off. You've met the criteria because there's a lot here for just the pass element. Now, what we're going to need as we progress and when you start writing, you're going to need the following things. So you're going to need your P1 PowerPoint and work booklet. You're going to need your profile sheet, which you have created on your service. And you might want the service link sheet, which links and gives you ideas of how to link social groups to your setting. You'll need the textbook chapter um, and you'll need to do your own research. Now, with the textbook chapter, just going back a point, uh, all the videos previously, the page numbers on there are not do not match the textbook um, that we're using at the moment. So what I would say is the PowerPoint slides will be better to use because they are they are matched to the current textbook, the electronic textbook you have got in front of you. Uh, and lastly, this PowerPoint will give you a bit of support as well. Um, now, writing P1, things we need to do. So first we need to think about how we set it out. So point one, first thing to do is introduce your coursework. You've been asked to produce the materials for your university interview. So this should be, you can copy this straight from the assignment brief, just like we did last year, the context setting, as I mentioned, I think in the first video, you are pretending that you are writing this to go to university. So you are doing the research, you are writing the report for your university interview. So that's the first thing, introduce the coursework. And part of this introduction, you can talk about your setting, introduce your local area, and your chosen setting. Uh, oh, there we go. Point two: introduce your chosen setting. So use the profile sheet that you filled in. You know where is it located? Who are the staff? What are the services? You know what, what are the local areas? What other supporters are nearby? That's the sort of second part. Introduce your local setting. Third, we then introduce the key terms. So this would be going through what is sociology, you know, define what are the, you know, socialization, culture, norms, values, roles, all of it from your PowerPoint, from the booklet, from the textbook. Now do explain the terms, do, you know, don't just put the norms and then put the textbook definition and then move on, you know, try and put a little bit of detail, you know, put an example, put some information, put, a, put it in a context, you know, within healthcare, it is a norm to do this. Um, you know, the values in healthcare are blah, 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 you know, so try and put some examples to sort of support um, what you're saying, but don't get, this says in the blue, don't get too carried away, don't write a textbook on definitions. So keep it brief, try and keep it one side, but not just a copy and paste job from the PowerPoint, you know, put the definitions in, put the explanations and put an example. Now, P4, this is where we start to bring in our uh, social groups. Oh, part four, sorry. So the variables, so class, age, gender, ethnicity, sexuality, region, religion, disability. Now we do need to include all of them. I know this is a lot, and as I said, P1, for just the past, there is a lot to include. It is a big topic. So do make sure you're putting the time and the effort in. So again, explain what is social class, what is age, what's gender, what's ethnicity. Define and explain all these elements. Explain how they influence people's behavior, people's health, um, use evidence, use research, use information from the pack and the PowerPoint. Um, 
you know, think about the difference that there is, you know, there's a gender difference in life expectancy between men and women. There's differences between social class and rich and poor, young and old. So who are these groups? What do we measure them? What are the health differences? Also, why would these be groups be going to uh, the GP? So the, you know, teenagers will be going to the GP for very different reasons to um, sort of over 60 over 70 year old men and women um people with different sexualities will go to the gp for different reasons so that's some stuff to think about as you're discussing it think about pies you know the positive and negative impact of being working class on on your lifestyle a lot of this you can pull from the exam unit we've just finished um so you know with social classes issues with diet and health and obviously different levels of illness and life expectancy. So try and include a bit of evidence, do a little bit of research, do a little bit of, you know, putting some information from the internet, from textbooks. In other words, you know, ultimately what we're trying to get in here is what is the different social groups? What is the evidence that shows that there is differences in life expectancy and health and illness? And what does sociology say about that? Is it important? Is it not important? What information have we got? And then last but not least, point five is then we come back to healthcare. So we're going to outline how healthcare is delivered in the UK. So we're going to talk about the main institutions, we're going to talk about statutory care, private care, non for profit, independent care. We're going to explain why care provision is important. We're going to talk about some of the needs of different groups, the services they provide, but ultimately relatively brief. It's a couple of paragraphs but also try and include your local setting. So as you're writing about different social groups, as you talk about these different institutions, link it back to your setting, to your P1 services link sheet. And again, there is an extra worksheet with P1 service links, which relate to this. And again, that would be really important for you to take a look at that one as well. Okay, 